political landscape could be very close from changing in Arizona. Tomorrow is the special election for Congressional District 8. That's the seat being vacated by Trent Franks. Tonight, some voters may not even know that they're allowed to vote in this election. ABC 15's Katie Connor digging for answers. More than 8,000 people who live in Congressional District 8 have not received their voter registration ID. Even though there is some concern that maybe people won't know that they're able to vote in this, the county recorder's office says there are safeguards in place. A little more than 454,000 people can vote in Tuesday's election. And tonight, many worry, will a delay in sending these cards to more than 8,000 of those voters impact the results? We probably should have been on top of it a little bit more, but the good thing is uh, this doesn't have any negative impact on our voters. Maricopa County recorder Adrian Fontes doesn't think the delay in voter ID cards will impact the results. Even if a person did not get their voter ID card, Fontes says there are safeguards in place. For example, in the mail, every eligible voter either gets a sample or mail-in ballot. This is uh, not an unusual thing, right? We process these in big batches uh, for economic reasons and so forth. And number two, we shifted our printer, so there was that was a little bit of a delay there. This is where we do the variable data. Ernie Garcia says his printing company was hired last month by the county recorder to print voter registration cards. He says it took some time to get critical information from the previous vendor and also the county. We didn't have all the information as far as the variable data, the addressing. It took a little bit of time to get that and, and get, get everything approved and then have and them changed. Some of the names were wrong. This isn't the first hiccup for the county recorder's office. Back in February, this woman was given two chances to vote in the primary for this CD8 election. Vonta says they will learn from their mistakes, but wants to assure the public, voter ID card or not, eligible voters can cast their ballots tomorrow. You can also get a digital voter ID by going to this website, the county recorder's website that is. I'll put a link on our website at abc15.com. Reporting from Phoenix, Katie Connor, ABC 15, Arizona. Katie, thanks. We reached out to the county recorder once again who says he is confident eligible voters know where and when to vote for the CD8 election.